It's July 22nd, 2019, and I thought I'd put together a houseplant update. Show you guys what's been happening. It's been about a month, maybe a little over a month. So let's take a look. My Hoya Kerry. And my aloe vera. Still don't know what to do with this planter. Here are my succulents. My Stromanthi Trio Star. Looking gorgeous as always and continuously putting on new shoots as you can see here. My yucca. Really nice up here. Don't know if it's recovering down here. But I see uh, a new shoot there that's attempting to come out. It's a slow process down here. Nothing to write home about. My Moses in a cradle. Look at this gorgeous purple underneath. Just love that. If you guys have this plant, let me know if the uh, bottom leaves, like let's say from this porch in here, if your bottom leaves are drying out and browning, like this piece right here. I frequently see that on the, on the bottom leaves. Not sure if that's a normal life cycle thing or if the plant is trying to tell me something. If you know, comment below. My Peperomia obtusifolia variegata. This thing has grown like mad since I first gotten it. Look at this. Look how much growth it's put on. Love it. Just love it. My bird's nest fern. Check this out. Still putting on lots of new growth. This baby's a monster and I love it. Calasia Repens Pink Lady. It's lost all its pink. So it's no longer a pink lady. But it still has its variegation and stripes. Come on camera, focus. All right, I need to trim it down because it's grown lanky again. Hoya oh yeah, Carnosa tricolor. After I finally figured out that it needed a lot more watering than I was originally giving it. It's paying me back with goodness. All new growth right here. Look at that. I'm a proud mama. All this is new too. I just love the pink that this plant puts on. It's awesome when you figure out what's wrong with your plants because they don't tell you. Next up is my Sansevieria Dwarf Samurai. As cute as can be. My Pothos um, Jade and Golden. I think it's trying to finally trail. 
Let's see. How can I show you guys this China Trail? Yeah. There. My Pothos and Joy. And this one is also trying to trail. Look at that vine. That vine is trying to trail. If you stay towards the end of this video, I'll show you my other Pothos and Joy, which, oh my God, has developed so many vining trails, which makes me so happy. All right, next up is my whale fin Sansevieria, variegated kind. And I need to pot this baby up like today, but I know I'm not going to get to it. Look at these roots. Oh, they really need to go into some soil. ASAP. Uh, baby Arabian Jasmine. This thing is flourishing. Look how many flower buds it's got right now. And it's just so nice to be able to show you guys on video. Check this out. It's doing well. Remember, these came from cuttings that I took from the mother plant that I had, which I threw out. All right, you guys, check this out. I pinched the main stalk right over here. So now it's forming more branching on top. Look at this growth that it's put on. Woo! Still no figs or any signs of any figlets. This is the second um, stalk that I had pinched first before I pinched the main one, just as an experiment to see what would happen. I don't know if this will produce figs this year. I guess not. It's too late in the season for it. Um, if you're curious, I've had this one for about a year and a half now, I think. But I'm just loving the structure on this tree. Really, really, really nice. Okay, here's my second fig tree. This one is Black Madeira. New uh, leaves coming in. I'm not sure what's happening with the uh, colors on these leaves. I think it's because uh, it's too close to the grow light, I think. And I've also lost a few leaves um, on this tree. Woke up this morning and I had like three leaves dropped. Don't know what that's about. But as long as it's still got its little figs. And here they are. I'm happy. I really, really hope they make it to maturity. First year. Right here. Okay, next up is the lovely Monstera Deliciosa Thai Constellation. Guys, it's giving me a new leaf. And here it is. Look at that. And this one I think is going to have a lot of white in it. Check it out. This one is happy and it's making my heart happy to have it in my collection. I just can't believe it. Okay, my second Hoya Carnosa tricolor. Um, if you've been watching along my progress, I've told you before that this one has been losing a lot of leaves. Well, I finally figured out why, and it was because, as I had suspected, wasn't getting enough sunlight. So I've been moving it over there where all the other plants are, and it hasn't lost a single leaf since which is awesome my lucky bamboo
and my third Hoya Carnosa tricolor and I just love this one my god I just love 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 all the white leaves on this one it makes me happy looking at it every day and my stag horn burn mm, looking real good except for dry edges there see that browning don't know what that's about where is it uh, here's another one I think it's it's needing more misting than I've been uh, giving it my bad Peperomia clusifolia vergata it's grown this one look how much growth it's put on This is another one that I moved to the window to give it more lighting so that it grows. Otherwise, it just does not grow. Love this variegation with the red striping on the edges. Here's another Lucky Bamboo Cuttings that I took from the original Mama plant. My ZZ plant. These light green ones are all new growths and it's happy. Love it. And my Sansevieria Bentel Sensation. My gosh, these stripes. I just can't get over how beautiful they are. These stripes. Just love them. Sad, but my spider plant has not been doing so well. Doesn't want to tell me why either. I have to figure it out. It's been browning on the edges everywhere, everywhere. And I chop this baby down and I chop it and more brown browning on the edges. I just don't understand why. I can't figure it out just yet but it may have to be that I might lose it and I would be sad because then I don't know what to do with this urn my Sansevieria Xylanica okay this was the uh, new growth and it was lime green as it was coming in but now it's turning its color to darker green. Anything else coming in? No, that's it. But it still likes this dark corner and it's happy here. And it makes me happy that I can have a plant in this very dark entrance. My second ZZ plant, this one is also happy. The light green shoots are the new shoots. Sansevieria Black Star. Still has the pups. One, two. Where's that third one? Three. Here it is. The third pup right here. And that's the original mama. Right here. I just love the gold and how small and compact this plant is and it's sort of a rosette shaped Sansevieria which is unlike the others which are long shoots. So cute. Alright my final plant is my Pothos Enjoy. Look at the trailing. Look at this vine. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Hope the lighting is good on here. The 
look where we are. Nice, it makes my heart happy. And here's another vine right next to it that's trailing down. And a third one right here that's going to be trailing down. Oh, I love it. And here's a fourth. And here's a fifth. And possibly a sixth. I just love it. It took three months. Three months. I've had this since um, March time frame. So April, May, June, July. Four months. Sorry. Four months to start trailing and for this vine to reach the state where it is now. All right, you guys, this concludes my video. I love that you're here and that you're keeping updated with my progress. Thank you for watching and until next time.